Hello, it's me, Sappy. You're probably wondering why the world outside is crumbling. Well, you're gonna find out soon. Today, we're talking about Death Road to Canada. What is Death Road to Canada? Well, it's like Oregon Trail, but goofy and with zombies. While on the Death Road, you gotta manage your crap and not die to a fitness machine. Anyway, our tale begins with Grunk, specifically Almighty Grunk. His quest for Canada. In fact, if Grunk gets hurt once, he's in the afterlife. Anyway, let us begin. We have 25 driving days left. Grunk searches a Yalmar and he siphons gas from the cars all night and is tired after. You know, normal Kalid, I mean Florida activities. Then a ghost ate some beans and farted and it fueled the car. I'm not entirely sure what happened. Anyway, uh, Grunk played golf by himself and he's sad. Then driving down the road, people stop him, but they forgot Grunk is mentally ill. They have a screaming match until Grunk is let go. Grunk goes trading, he finds a pew pew seller and an axe merchant. On the road, we find a- no. It can't be a, a woman, an anime woman to be precise. She joins the crew, and then the car got stuck. Keeping up the good fortune, we find a sumo boy. I love sumo boy. Then the arcade adventures ensue. Grunk and sumo boy play arcade games. It was fun. The side note, I'm not sure when, but somewhere we meet a gamer named Jazzy and the anime girl literally explodes. Oh, looks like the fire got closer. I don't know how much longer I have left in this house before it caves in, so uh, let's move on, shall we? Also, I'm in my basement now to avoid the ever closer fire that consumes all. Anyway, on to 21 to 17 driving days left. The car broke down, just like my marriage with the pickle jar. Then we caught a fish. Much didn't happen, so here's a Kirby with human feet. In an umbrella shop, Grunk finds a book on being strong. He became a demigod. Pull up to a trader camp, steal all the food, and acknowledge the grave digger just sitting in there. Leave. Have a good and the bad and the ugly style showdown, and basically a Walmart jazzy has fallen but has allowed us to escape. Rest in peace, you angel. We go to a bridge, meet a guy named Mikey Jackson. The gang is trapped at a crack house with some other people and a lot of zombies. The people threaten to bring the zombies over. We call their bluff and escape, but Grunk did die on the way out. And without Grunk, I cannot continue. So that's it. Story finished, and my house is gone. And without Grunk, the universe has crumbled, reality is gone. And Grunk's quest may or may not have been a complete failure. Grunk, in the end, never made it to Canada. But don't worry, something much larger and more Canada is on the way. I promise that next time we will get to Canada, or my name is, I don't know, John.